and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Aquarius's monthly guidance message for August. In this message, Aquarius, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you this month. We're going to see what's working in your favor, where to focus your energy. We'll tap into anything that's hidden that you need to be made aware of and the outcome if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So we're going to put these cards back in to reshuffle. Put the little side message that's coming out here for you, Aquarius. It's definitely going to be a person that's going to come back and express to you how they feel about some sort of separation that you and this person have. I don't know who that's for or who that's going to resonate for. Let's dive a little bit deeper here into the energy. Most important message here for Aquarius spirit. What do my Aquarian friends need to know? Queen of Cups, Three of Wands with the Temperance energy for the energy surrounding you this month. So definitely in a place of balance and a place of peace. Okay. Feel like you are being very strategic when it comes to a particular situation. We're going to clarify all of this here in a minute. Having patience with yourself with the process going to be key for this month with the temperance energy the underlying energy is the moon so there's definitely going to be some communication about how you made a particular person how an ending a separation between you and a particular person played out for this person's life okay I definitely feel like this is going to be a very heavy conversation, so just be mindful of that. Um, but I do feel like you are in a place of balance, um, prepared, prepared to hear this, prepared to hear this person out. Now again, we're going to clarify this in a minute. For it's working in your favor, you started a new beginning, you started a new adventure. This is probably pertaining to a person who has moved on, okay, to a new connection, because I definitely feel like this past person coming back is not moving you, is not changing your mind, is not changing your heart. So let's clarify for you, Aquarius. Again, if you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start here with the Queen of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Temperance Energy. What do my Aquarian friends need to know in regards to the Queen of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Temperance Energy? Page of Rods with the Emperor. So standing your ground taking the lead okay what i see playing out here aquarius is you having to tell a particular person that this is no longer working for you that you guys are no longer going to be connecting you guys are no longer going to be communicating on that type of a level now i don't feel like this person will take this very very well okay i feel like this is going to um for them this is going to be hard to hear. So just keep that in mind. That's probably where the strategy comes in. Where to focus your energy. The new. The new connection. Okay, standing your ground with this person and focusing on the new. We have the king and queen of rods within the reading. 
okay? So there is definitely an intense connection that is felt, but I feel like there's a deeper connection felt between you and this new person. So trusting that process and moving forward here is what I see playing out. The energy that's hidden. Let's see, we have the ace coming out in almost every, every spot. Moving forward. I feel like taking some time and explaining this to this person on how you've moved on, on how you've, um, give this person closure. That's what's going to help this chapter to be closed and for you to move on quicker. For you and your new person to build a more solid foundation. Let's clarify. King of Rods with the Ace of Pentacles. You see, freeing yourself from this past situation and moving forward. That's what needs to take place here. Let's clarify this Ace of Cups, the Six of Swords with the Hermit. And I feel like when you give this person closure from you moving on, it's definitely going to be difficult for this person to hear, but it's going to, again, bring more balance, more stability into your new connection. Okay. Where this is all headed, mm -hmm. you're moving forward from that situation. You're moving forward from this past situation with or without this person's permission. And that's fine. Okay. You don't have to ask anybody's permission to move on. However, it is good to give a person closure. That way they're not holding on to this. Okay, they're not holding on to you. They're not holding on to this connection. Okay. I feel here, Aquarius, that this person is going to try and settle differences. Try and get your attention. Try and do whatever they can to get back into your good graces. But I definitely feel here, Aquarius, that you're withholding your energy and moving forward. And exactly what needs to be called for closing out this chapter it may not be easy but it is going to be worth it the main message that i get from this entire reading is there's a need to close this out close out this past situation so it doesn't hinder the growth of your new connection here now whether this closure aquarius is for you or whether this is for the person the past person this is what's going to be important for this month is closing this past chapter out in order for you to move forward. There's a need here for closure. I now go beyond other people's fears and limitations. It is my mind that creates my experiences. I am unlimited in my own ability to create the good in my life. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Aquarius, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I am going to be doing a reading on my website. It's going to be somewhat of an extended reading. We're going to tap a little bit deeper into the person's energy. So we'll look at your person, the energy surrounding your person, what their true intentions are moving forward, how they feel towards you, anything that's hidden that you need to be made aware of. It's all going down in the extended version and the links are all below. If that's something you're interested in. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.